First, uh, so you're going to have your tack prep team, which are, which are the guys um, responsible for washing the horses and doing all the tack. Um, so there's seven horses that need to be washed, and we only fit about four max in the washroom, so four or three will do. Usually a tack prep team consists of four guys. Uh, you'll have three soldiers and one NCO. And, you know, everybody does each job at, at that one time, so everybody will wash horses at one time. And then once that's complete, then they'll move into the tack room and shine the brass uh, and clean all the tack. And then everybody will, get, you know, be assigned a, s a set of horses to tack up. So usually one guy will do wheel, swing, and lead. So you have two saddles, one per horse, and that individual will be responsible for that. Uh, well, the word caisson is uh, French for large chest or large box, and the tradition behind the caisson is uh, it, it was actually an uh, artillery piece would be, uh, be pulled by the horses, and uh, during the Civil War, they started uh, carrying casualties on the caissons, on the, on the wagons, so uh, it became a tradition for us to carry our fallen with the caissons. And that's what we do now. Attention orders. 09, MC to 54. Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force. Wheel. Ready. Swing. Ready. Lead. Ready. Case on. Forward. Hope. I am a... Uh rider as well as a comparison walker like today and part of the comparison walker's job is to basically bring the deceased to his final resting place. It's a tradition that they used to lead the generals or the captain's horses to the grave with them and that's the tradition of the comparison horse that will walk behind the wagon and then post up at the grave site with the caisson. Uh, the boots, they're facing backwards to represent the rider facing back to give one last salute to his troops kind of the sword is there because uh, captains and generals and leaders they always had the uh, sword just like in the element they'll have the swords instead of the rifles and they'll put the casket onto the caisson wagon and then uh, the element will and the band will play the music and present arms for the deceased and then I walk up behind the wagon and we proceed down to the grave site where they fold the flag and say a prayer and goes to his final rest. Uh, to me, it's a big, it's a big honor. Um, but I, I, like I've, I've been trying to come to Old Guard since '09, since my father's buried here, and I finally got accepted uh, in 2011. And then um, once I got back from deployment, I was able to come here in June of 2012. When I was riding by the Calibarium on my horse, I was looking over there. I was like, "That's where my dad's at." I said, thought to myself, "You know, I bet he's he's really proud of me right now because that's he was always proud of what I did. He was always behind me. He was like, you know, you could do whatever you want to do." And so I was like, well, here I am trying to follow, you know, kind of in your footsteps with the Army and everything. And, you know, and I, I, I kind of made a promise to him when uh, we buried him. I said, you know, I'm coming back. So, it, you know, and I made that promise. Here I am.